And yo guys, welcome back to the channel. And today is a reaction video to the Rangers lost us um, yesterday. There's not much we can say. We weren't good enough, we didn't turn up. We just didn't want the win. Um, play, players just... I don't even know what to say. The players just they, they didn't want it. They didn't want the win. Cause I've seen, I've seen us play much better. And that was horrendous, right? And you can say, oh, well, this is why we need a friend and this is what we need to have. But we need to start winning games without them because Wolf Manelis picks up a long term injury. What are we gonna do then? We have to, we have to still get results. Whether, whether the best striker in the league is on the pitch or no, and Tavernier, you we, at points I was us, Tav's annoying me because he's not playing well. Tav, hurry, please come back soon, please. Flanny Alves is killing me. Poster is no, he wasn't as bad, but I'm pretty sure ninety minutes with Poster is going to give me. Heart failure, but we lose the game, right? So now what the players need to think is, right, we've lost. Still got the game in hand to go two points behind Celtic. So we go, right, two old thumbs left. Win one, draw one. Boom, grind out the rest of the, grind out the, rest of the um, fixtures, we win the league. It, it sounds simple, you can put it that way. It, it's not going to be simple because it's Rangers, we don't like this. Put it this way. When you support Rangers, we don't take the easy way. We love to take the, the fucking hard way where fans are literally joking killing themselves because of fucking hell, I bloody... The bloody... Oh, I punched my... That's a, is that, that's the first time I've actually punched a wall or something like that. Or like a game, and I would punch my bed or chuck something. But when they scored their set, and I just went up to the fucking wardrobe and went right, mongos, and just punched it because I was so fucking frustrated. And I don't, I'm normally angry when we lose, but that was on different levels. And it was the fact that it was fucking bolting the league hearts, so I just went, I can't fuck it, I can't even bother. And it's, oh, it was sad. I'm never punching a wall. Again, it was fucking sad. Too sad. Um, but we lose. We move on. Um, on to Ross County on Wednesday. Um, and yeah, um, shout out to fans who enjoy it because it won't be long till you've been shut up again because, uh, well, we know <laughs> Celtic are shite. Oh, but we're top of the league, and no one gives a fuck. You have not won the league yet. Therefore, no one cares whether you're top of the league, because you can say you're top of the league for fucking nine million times. It doesn't change the final out outcome. If we win the league, you are top of the league for majority. Did that change the outcome? No. Right? And yes, if Rangers go top of the league, I'm going to say, yes, we're top of the league. But I ain't going to. Unless Celtic fans are sitting there saying this, that, and the next thing. I'm going to boast about it, right? I got a Twitter ban, a six-day ban, all because I said, your club ruined kids' life. Am I lying? No. So, so I was right. So Twitter's done me wrong there. Um, and a week banned for what? Telling the truth. Right? Big job would do well on Twitter because you can lie. Um, but uh, before I go, uh, obviously we heard the news about Kobe Bryant. I didn't watch basketball, I would say, back in the day he played and didn't watch, I didn't watch any of his basketball games. I don't really watch basketball, but when you people talk about basketball, he's one of the names. Um, he obviously passed, he died in a helicopter crash. So I would say, thoughts are with his family, friends, everybody. Um, and rest in peace, he's a legend to basketball. And I'll see you in one day for the 
prediction video. I might make it after this actually. See ya.